Hi guys, welcome to another episode. We've had a request to show how to cut and plug a barrel. This is if you've purchased a gun and you now want to shorten it, uh, you would have to re-plug it. In the factory, we use a quite a hard rubber. The reason we use a harder rubber than normal is the ability of this plug to withstand very high pressures. Back in the day, we had guys commercial scuba spear fishing and they would bounce dive to extreme depths, 300 foot, like 100 meters to shoot specific species. And at that pressure, you're around uh, 10 bar. The older soft plugs used to be pushed into the barrel. This would affect the buoyancy over time. And of course, water would get into those zones. So we came out with this really hard bung. For us to install this, we lubricated with a glue and we force it in with a one ton press. So this is the one ton press in action. This is how it works. Not something you can do at home. For DIY, we've developed a slightly softer plug. This is still good for 30, 40 meters. We've tested it to 40 meters and it doesn't move. So for your average diver, that's way good enough. So to show you the difference, we have a shore hardness tester. This specific plug is the one we use in-house. We press on it till it bottoms out. There is around 80 shore hardness. Try another. 76. There's a slight variation from one plug to another. These are the two I have here that we will be showing in the demonstration. There you can see 52. 54. So slight variance and uh, these we can put in manually. There is a bit of a technique to do this and I'll demonstrate. As mentioned, we lubricate it with a glue. We basically use a contact adhesive. Any contact adhesive will work. It seems to be very slippery in comparison to, for instance, I tried with soap, a liquid soap, and the glue is actually more slippery. I was barely able to push it in with soap, and obviously you don't want to use soap because it'll slip thereafter. But with the contact adhesive, it does go in. So let's demonstrate it. So for demonstration purposes, we're going to use an off cut. Obviously, if you've hacked away at this with a hacksaw, try and keep it as level as you can. Use some device to take that sharp edge off. We have a proper trim tool that cleans off that sharp edge. You can use sandpaper, a file, whatever. Now, we're going to apply glue to this surface and the whole surface of the bung. The bung does go in partially already, and then we're going to force that down. The trick with them is to actually rotate while you're forcing. Let's get the glue in position. The trick here is to try not to get too much glue over your fingers. Also remember, you need to push the bung in sufficiently to compensate for the end you've cut off. If it's a muzzle, measure how deep the muzzle needs to go. You'll need to push this plug in appropriately. Or if it's the handle end, you'll need to push it in adequately that side. So we've got glue on both surfaces. Set the plug up. Push down and rotate. The plug is now in. Now you push further to get it to the depth required. You can now measure that against your mechanism or your plug for a mechanism it will need to go a little deeper approximately there and that glue will cure around it and that will form more than adequate seal and hold it in place and prevent it from moving obviously it's a good idea to clean the excess glue off a bit of acetone will do so there you have it how to shorten and plug your gun i hope you enjoyed that video <laughs> Yeah, Let's see if I can recover this plug. Damn. Ah, well, that's not coming out. Trying to recover it and use it again. Oh, well, enough of that. <laughs> 